So within Commander, we have our top five features that we like the most. Um, I'll start with the first one, which is one of the ones I like the most, uh, which is what we call change the card on first login. Um, very simply put, we can take a credential uh, for a user, and if we don't know the card number, for example, we can issue them a PIN number, and when they present it at the terminal, it will, or when they put the PIN number in at the terminal, it will ask them to present their card, and then what it will do is it will switch out that PIN number and delete it and put their card in place. And very simply put, this is really quick and easy to do. We can go to the home icon and go back to the users. We can find the user in question, and I'm going to use Charlotte for the moment, and we can create a new credential for them. And as you can see, if I select PIN, we can then issue a PIN number, and we can click the function change to card on first login. When I click save, if the credential is not already assigned, which it will be, we can now see in the users menu here, for example, Charlotte McCarthy now has a PIN number, and then when Charlotte goes up to the terminal and presents that PIN or enters that PIN, it'll ask the first thing to do will be to present the card. Once the card gets presented, it will delete that PIN number and it will then continue to identify Charlotte based on the card that she's used. So our second of our top five features is the roaming key tag. Um, very simply put, what we can do is we can take a single set of keys like a vehicle key and we can put it into different cabinets. So say, for example, you've got two different key cabinets in two different locations and you want a vehicle key to be able to go into both. We can certainly set the key to do that. There's a few things we need to bear in mind with this. Um, the first thing is that we can actually have more key tags uh, in the system than there are cylinders if we want, as long as obviously all of them don't go back into the cabinet at the same time. Um, and we also need to make sure that there's, a key, there's no key tag assigned to a specific cylinder that that roaming key is going to go to. It's really easy to set up, and all we need to do is we can go to the proc safe menu, go to key tags. We can then select the key in question, like the Volkswagen Golf I've got here. Select the terminal subtab, and we can tell it to roam, and click save. Once we've told it to roam, we can then assign it to certain terminals. So if I want it to go into the main building, if it's in the assigned list, along with the carpool list, providing there's a cylinder available for it, it will allow that key tag to go in there. So number three on our top five features of Commander is the key tag release mode. And this can be found within our CSO module. Um, and what we can do is we can actually set it so we can have a single dual or triple user access to the key. And again, it's really simple to set up. All we need to do is hover over the home icon, go to proc safe and key tags. We can then find the, find the key tag in question we want to put it on, for example, the server room, and you'll see the key tag release mode option here. Obviously, we can set this to single user access, dual user access, and triple user access. And effectively, when the key goes to get released, if we set it to dual user access, for example, when the first person asks to take it, it'll ask for a second user to authenticate it to say that the key's been taken, and it will show in the reports that both users have provided um, the credential to take the key. Number four on our top five features is the key tag time profile. And this is part of the CSO module. And what we can do is if we hover over the home icon and go to proc safe, you can see key tag time profiles in there if the module's enabled. And within this is quite a few seconds we can do. We can give the time profile a name. We can then set the time span against it. So if we only want the key to go out between Monday and Friday, we can certainly check those boxes. We can also set a start and end time against this as well to make sure the key's in and out of those set times. And we can also set a maximum duration time as well, say for example, four hours. We can also have it so it informs the keeper, which would be the person who's taken the key out by email, or even inform the responsible person, which can be set in the item menu. If we need to, we can also put any additional email addresses in if required. Number five on our top five features of Commander is the reservations tool. And this can be found using KRV, for example. Uh, and what we can do is effectively we can reserve a key against a certain user. Uh, it's really simple and easy to use depending on which way you want to use it. And you can use the reservations menu, which I'm currently in here. And um, what we can do is we can create a new reservation. So say, for example, a carpool uh, vehicle. We can give it a description if we'd like, and we can also set the time span of that reservation. So you can see here that I've reserved it between four and five o'clock today. We can also lock the key in, in advance. Um, so say, for example, if I set that to four hours, if anyone tries to take that key four hours prior to the reservation, it won't let them take it. We can also inform the keeper that the reservation has been created or even inform the responsible person that the reservation has been created to too. We can also send any additional information to any additional emails if required. 
The option to block the administrator too, very simply put, if you're an administrator at the terminal, you can override that locking in advance if you need to. But if I check that box, it's not going to let the administrator override it, which means the key will still remain in the cabinet until the reservation is ready. We can also stop the reservation after the key tag has been returned. And very simply put, if I return the key after or during my reservation, it will stop that reservation and won't let me take it again if, if I haven't got the access to it. We can also delete it after the reservation as well. So once the reservation is finished, it will clear it off the software for you automatically. And very lastly, we can also cancel that reservation if it's not used after a set number of minutes, for example. Once we've got everything set up and we click save, it will then ask us to assign a user and the key tag in question. So I can pick on somebody in particular. And if they've got the key assigned to them, I can certainly reserve that key and I can click save. What you'll now see is it will appear on the left hand side and that reservation is ready. There is another way to set reservations up using the reports option. Where we can go into the reports menu. We can go into the predefined report reservations. And this will show us all of the keys in question. And if there's an option for them to be reserved or if there's already a reservation there. If we want to create a new reservation, we can do it also in the report. So we can find the key in question and very simple. We can drag over the time scale or the hour we want it using the date filters at the bottom, for example. So say on the 8th of March between two and seven o'clock. And then we can make some more adjustments with the pop-up that appears. So we can select the user in question and it will show any users that have got it assigned. And then we can adjust the date and time if we need to again as well and click save.